Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our channels. In this video, we have a sales order created and we're going to create a drop ship out of it. So if we scroll over to the right, our line items themselves have a checkbox for mark for PO. And you can have the item itself default to this option, mark for PO. When you check the box, you have a few options, one of which is drop ship. So if we select all these items and select drop ship and save it. What we can do right from here is create our purchase order. Now you could do this at a processing screen as well that can take all of your sales orders and create all of the drop ships available for it. If there's an opportunity, Acumatica will consolidate if it's the same vendor and same customer, for example. But here's our screen for it, and we can click Process All. Now we have one warning, and that is that the vendor, the default vendor, is not defined for this particular item. So Acumatica doesn't know who to create that purchase order for. So we can solve that by, right from the screen, scrolling over to the right and selecting the vendor and then process all. Now keep in mind, even if we had selected the same vendor as before as the other items, it's not going to consolidate that into the original purchase order for the other dropship. So here is the one dropship order. If we go back to the screen that lists our purchase orders and dropship orders, we can see the two that we just created. Now if we go back in, From this dropship order, if we scroll over to the right, we can see the sales order number it's linked to. So this gets purchasing visibility as to the sales orders, or the dropship orders in this case, that are related. If we scroll over to the right of that sales order, notice these other columns here. And that is, from here, we can see not only the dropship number, which was created when we created our dropship orders, but we can also see the status. This gives us visibility in case the customer calls us. We go back to our drop ship purchase order. We remove the hold. We'll email it to the vendor. The vendor will take it, then process it. As the vendor gives us confirmation that it went out the door, we'll enter our PO receipt. Ensure the quantities are correct in case the vendor's partially shipping some of it. We'll release it. And if we open up our sales order, and refresh. And now you can see the status of that one drop ship order has been completed. Now, based on my preferences, I could invoice this with the customer and just invoice the partial, this one particular line item, the Correg Model 450. Or I could wait. But to do that, I can go over to Sales Orders, Process Shipments, change my action to Prepare Drop Ship Invoice. And while this screen normally for prepare invoice would show a list of shipments, in this case, it's going to show a list of drop ships that have been received. So you could see the one here. We'll check it. Click process. And now our invoice has been created. So that's how we create a drop ship from an existing sales order and finish it off with a customer invoice. Thanks for watching this video and subscribing. Have a great day.